Hi, Sean Shields here. Another reaction video from Venza. I'm coming to you live here, or recorded, at the Roswell office. And I've got two great guests today. They are in the hot seat. Let's go ahead and find out who we've got. Jonathan, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, thanks, Sean. Yeah, my name is Jonathan. I'm co-founder and president of Whistle. We are the number one guest uh, messaging platform for hotels in the hospitality industry, as well as we're pioneering the way to a digital front desk. All digital front desk. Sounds good to me. Sounds touchless. I don't know. In, in, in the current climate. All right. Andrew, data art. Never heard of you. I'm kidding. We're, 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 we like data art so much. We're also a customer. Well, thank you. We like Venza a lot. Your customer. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, introduce so yourself. Is, yeah, sure. sure. Uh, my name is uh, Andrew Sanders. I'm with uh, data art. Uh, we're a 5,000 strong uh, global software development consultancy. So we outsource development for other companies. Uh, I'm heading up uh, hospitality for North America. Great. Thanks so much. All right. As promised, this is a bit of a weird one because you guys are the first people to ever be in a reaction video without Daniel. The cat's away. The mice will play, as I said before. So anything could happen. Let's see what this uh, article is. I'm just going to get your reaction. Let me know when you can see my screen. Okay, I see. The new corporate currency, travel and workplace flexibility by Mr. Daniel Johnson, partner co-founder here at yeah. Venza. And these are from our friends at Hospitality Net. And what we're talking about here is basically company culture and should it involve um, workplace flexibility? You know, we're all used to, you know, uh, working in the corporate field, working in the office, you know, our, our parents, you know, worked the nine to six. Everybody's working, was working uh, in offices. But now, of course, with the pandemic having happened, this has become uh, a business as usual. Not only working remotely, but taking it one step further, uh, you know, will workplace flexibility continue in the post-pandemic world? And what does an exceptional company culture look like post pandemic? So sound pretty clear. Uh, Andrew, let's hear from you. Sean, I think this is a fantastic topic. What we found is that over the last 12 months, we are hiring people who have never been to a data art office, which is remarkable. Um, where we have locations, we're kind of the Google or the SaaS in those particular cities and countries. We have you know, free breakfast and you know cool things to do and fun things, fun activities and you know, ping pong tables and all the rest of it. So how do we create that and grow that culture um, is extremely, extremely tough. Um, in answer to the first question, I don't think we're going to put the genie back in, in the bottle. I think this work from home um, uh, paradigm is here to stay. Uh, I think there will be an encouragement for getting people back into the office when it's when it's safe to do so. Um, but uh, absolutely, I mean, it's a huge, huge challenge for us to make sure that the company ethos is maintained um, at the same time as very aggressively growing. We've grown uh, probably 30 or 40 percent in the last 12 months in terms of employees from about three to five, nearly 5,000 people. So that growth, managing that growth is hugely difficult. And we've got a big team of, of HR people all just thinking about um, you know, hiring people, retaining them, and you know, making sure that they have fun and they enjoy what they do while maintaining the quality of, of what we do. So absolutely, it's here to stay. Um, and um, it, I think there's going to be a continued and growing combination of people working from home and you know, getting together for more social activities with, with, with colleagues. Indeed. Jonathan, do you think this is going to keep going? And is this part of an exceptional company culture? Yeah, thanks, Sean. Um, I, I definitely agree with Andrew. I, I think it's here to stay. Um, you know, we've been fortunate here at Whistle that we were actually remote, a remote first company uh, prior to the pandemic. So we got a little jump head start there. Um, so we kind of knew what we needed to do in order to build that strong company culture um, and kind of keep that. It's also kind of opened up, I believe, for most companies, it, it opens up the options and the talent pool, right, where they're no longer restricted to a, a you know, physical city or location. 
um, and it allows them to go out there and seek talent elsewhere. And at the same time, it gives the flexibility of that, you know, possible employee to, you know, have the flexibility to work from anywhere, whether it's, uh, you know, in a specific hometown where they want to, you know, work from or whether they want to be, you know, traveling nomad. Um, you know, any, anywhere with the internet connection um, really allows them to to work. And um, what we've seen is, uh, we've actually seen our uh, employees, um, or I've read some studies that were where employees' productivity has in, enhanced and increased because of the flexibility of not having to come into the office, being able to work from home, being able to take a lunch and maybe take a walk outside to the beach or, um, you know, to a park. So That commute definitely. both ways, right, yeah. is taking up time. It, it, it's let's let's face it it can be soul crushing you know knowing oh man i gotta go into this thing i gotta do something i've got plans after work or or you know you're just trying to get in to make you know uh let's say a 9 a.m meeting you know that you've you've got to be on but maybe you're in your car for the first five minutes and then you finally get in there and you boot up or whatever yeah it i i i see you know people are are you know the bosses are ruffled you know is this gonna is this gonna work are they really working you know and and, and in my day we worked from the office and we knew what we were doing these young kids come in and you know this is what they want it, it, it i think i think they're gonna i don't think you're gonna be able to put it back in the bottle yeah yeah what i would say is that um uh if you're in a trusting environment um, then that will help a lot. Of course, the other side of the, of the coin is that there's a lot of businesses, the smaller businesses, less office-oriented businesses that can't get staff right now. Uh, restaurants around here in this area in, in North Carolina can't open on certain days because they just cannot get staff paying uh, paying a lot of money, paying over minimum wage, significantly over minimum wage for for all levels. So I really feel for uh, you know for that aspect of the hospitality industry and of course uh, hotels in general that um, you know really struggle with getting getting and retaining staff. Yeah, and like Jonathan don't have the said, of working from home. yeah, and like Jonathan said, you're getting those you know you're able to get those people that you couldn't normally get. You know you're able to buy a house out in the burbs and not have to right. commute into the city, right? I can I can get more house outside of the city, so. I think I think this is definitely a part of of a great culture, and also, you know, as as C suite folks, being able to travel, being able to get out there makes you more, you know, you understand other people's points of view, right? You're more worldly. It's a better experience. The same thing with the folks that work uh, for you. Uh, it makes them better employees. It makes them more valuable to have these travel experiences. It, there's just that extra thing that they're going to get and be able to bring back to the table. Uh, you know, should should everybody decide to go back to being in the office. Uh, any further comments, Jonathan? Uh, Andrew? Uh, no, no. I, I, yeah, I completely agree. I, I definitely do not miss that hour and a half drive, you know, being in L.A. to the office. So, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm glad it's here to stay. Great. Well, we certainly appreciate you guys participating today in this reaction video. Daniel, we're sorry you missed it, but uh, thanks so much. We appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Jonathan.